Hey there, have you ever wondered how much energy that 400 watt panel actually produces? Does it actually make 400 watts? It does not. What about how many panels do you need in your home? Is there an easy way to do this? Yes, there is. Stick around. I'll show you how much energy a solar panel actually makes and then I'll show you how that can translate into an easy way to find out how many panels you need. This is a good video if you're planning to go solar. My name is John, I run My Solar Home. It's a YouTube channel and a website. I help people go solar across the nation. I work with the best of partners to give you the top-notch equipment that you deserve and I charge you fair prices. Email me john at mysolarhome.us if you're looking for a quote. Let's get going. So how much energy does a solar panel actually make? Let's say you bought or you have a 400 watt solar panel. Does it actually make 400 watts? Well, the answer as always is depends. It does make 400 watts, but it makes that when it's either in the Antarctic, that's right, it's really super cold and it's a really long sunny day. It also makes 400 watts under lab conditions. So these are specific conditions that they mentioned in their data. Basically, it's lab conditions. So either in the Antarctic or in the lab is where a 400 watt panel makes 400 watts. So where does this leave you and me? If I put a panel up on my roof, will it make 400 watts? Hey, no way. So how much does it actually make? Let's look at a solar panel in New Jersey. New Jersey is reasonably sunny, not the sunniest in the state, but it's got a reasonably good amount of sunlight. And let's see how a 400 watt panel does here through a normal regular summer day with full day sunlight. As you can see, early in the morning, the panel starts to wake up, starts to make four, five, 10, 15, 20 watts. This is a 400 watt panel, remember? And as the sun goes up, it becomes sunnier and sunnier. The panel starts to make energy. Guess what? The most energy that this panel made during the day was about 264 watts. That's right, a 400 watt panel, the maximum energy it produced was just 264 watts. So what is going on? That 400 watt panel produces 400 watts under standard test conditions. Real life is different. And as you've just seen, that panel in Jersey was just making 264 watts on a different day, maybe in the middle of June or even in December, if it's a really sunny day, it might make 275, 280. In fact, the maximum output that the 400 watt can actually give you under the best of real world conditions is about 305 watts. That's right, a full 95 to 100 watts less than its rated capacity. Nobody talks about this, but you buy panels based on 400 watts or 375 or 380 watts. And once the solar professional gives you a calculation of how many panels you need, he bases it on these numbers that it actually will make 260, 270, 290 watts. So how is somebody like you or me, a regular George supposed to know how much a panel actually produces? Fortunately, all the panel manufacturers mention that in their data sheets. These are like PDF files that you can get. For example, the top panel today in the US market is the REC Alpha Pure Black 405 watt panel. Look in the data sheet, it's a PDF file, this is what it looks like. And they mention the power output from your panels under STC, which is standard test conditions, and under NMOT or NOCT. NMOT is nominal module operating temperature. NOCT is nominal operating cell temperature. The NMOT or NOCT numbers are the actual real life numbers. That is how much the panel will actually make at the most. The max rated power is 309 watts for this 405 watt panel. And guess what? It's not even going to make 309 watts in California regularly. There are two things which are important for solar panels to really make the most power that they're capable of. That is long hours of bright sunlight and low temperatures. So during warm sunny days in California or Florida, your panel might not make 309 watts even in the best of days. But in the winter when it's cooler and you have a long day, you might have a few hours, the panel will actually make 309 watts. So let's look at the actual power production from a, some of the top panels available today. We just looked at the REC 405, the max power it generates in normal conditions is 309 watts. 
The 400 watt panel makes about 305 watts. Let's look at some other panels. The Canadian Solar 405 watt panel, for example, generates a maximum of 300 watts. The RDC, which is a top panel in the market, also has slightly higher power production. The QCell 400 watt panel makes about 300 watts too. Now there are some panels which are like 450 watts and 500 watts. Don't get fooled into thinking that those panels are better than a 400 watt panel or a 380 watt panel. What really determines the difference between panels is the efficiency and their size. You might have a really huge panel which makes more power, but it's so much bigger. If, you, if the, the REC 400 watt panel, for example, if they just made it bigger, it'll make 600 watts, right? And they'll say, okay, this panel makes 600 watts. Does it make it better than the 400 watt panel? No, it's the same thing, it's just bigger. So now that we've got a handle of how much actual power a solar panel generates, what does this translate in terms of, hey, what does it mean in terms of how many panels do I need for my home? Now, in order to find out how many panels you need for your home, you will need a couple of things. First, you need your usage. How much energy does your home consume in a year? It's there in your bill, there's a graph there, it's not so easy to read. One of the easiest way to do it is to call your power company and ask them, hey, how much energy did I use in the last 12 months? and they'll give you a figure in kilowatt hours. Your home could consume anywhere between 3,000 to 40,000 kilowatt hours, might be more too. Next, where are you located? This map here shows your solar factor. Depending on where you live, your solar factor might be 1.1, might be 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, 1.5, even 1.65 in some areas. This is a factor which tells you how much energy your solar panel will actually generate over time. To find out how many panels you actually need, you got to decide which panel you're planning to buy. Is it a four, is it a QCell 400 watt panel? Is it a Silfab 380 watt panel? Or is it a REC 405 watt panel? What kind of panel are you thinking of buying? So you've got those three things. You've got your usage, you've got your solar factor, and you've got the panel that you're planning to buy. So let's do some very easy math. Let's say you stay in California. Let's look at the map and find out what your solar factor is. Let's say I stay in an area in California with solar factor 1.5. I called up my utility company. I looked at my bill. They told me my annual usage is 15,500 kilowatt hour. Let's say you were planning to buy QCell 400 watt panel. So it'll be 15,500 divided by 1.5 divided by 400. And you'll come, if you do that in your calculator, you'll come to 25.83. And you can't have a decimal number in terms of panels. So make that 26. So this a pretty good estimate of how many panels you will need for your home in California. This calculation for your number of panels is fairly accurate, but there are a couple of things you have to keep in mind. Stick till the end of the video. I'm going to just go through them. So let's do another one. I'm looking at a home in New Jersey. What's the power factor in New Jersey? 1.2. I call the power company. My usage is 12,224 kilowatt hours for the year. I am planning to buy the REC 400 five watt alpha black on black panels. Again, 12,224 divided by your factor for New Jersey, which is 1.2 divided by your panel watts 405 and you come to 25.15 or 26 panels. Let's do another one. Let's say you stay in North Carolina. What's your factor in North Carolina? Look at the map, 1.3. Let's say your usage is 8,150 kilowatt hours in North Carolina. Your factor is 1.3. You're planning to use an Aptos 440 watt panel. 8150 divided by 1.3 divided by 440, you get 14.24 or you need 15 panels. So this math can be done for any home in the US. Look at the map, look at your factor, look at your usage for the year, what kind of panels you're buying, and you'll come to a reasonably good estimate of how many panels you need. Now, there are a couple of factors that you need to be careful of. If you have a lot of shade in your roof, then the solar factor goes down. Now, if you have to place your solar panels on multiple roofs, that's called multiple arrays, that sometimes affects the solar factor too. It might go down. The other thing which affects the solar factor is so if most of your panels are south, east, west, the solar factor works beautifully. But if most of your panels are northwest, northeast, or north, then the solar factor goes down. Shade makes a big difference too. So depending on these factors, if your solar company that gives you a quote comes to you and says, okay, you need maybe a little more than what your calculations did, it's probably because of some of these factors, 
but you should be knowledgeable and you should ask that question that, you know, I did the math and it seems like I needed 15 panels. Why are you seeing 18 or 19 panels? And if they give you one of these reasons, then you know, okay, you're on the right track. Now, looking for solar panels today for your home, don't forget to email me, john at mysolarhome.us. I have a lot more videos on my channel on things like selecting your solar panels, what kind of prices should you pay for your solar panels. There's a lot more stuff. Do, do like and subscribe, check out my other videos, and thank you so much for watching.